welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a favorites video. This is everything that I have been loving and wearing recently. I'm covering it all from my favorite clothing to accessories to bags, just a little mix of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this tiered skirt and I have this in the black. This one is a bit newer in my wardrobe but I also own it in the blue and white. And the blue and white one has become one of my most worn items in my wardrobe recently. Like I am constantly reaching for it and grabbing it when I don't know what to wear. If I'm running out, like even if I'm just doing errands, that's what I'll reach for because it's been so warm in the UK. It's felt a bit too warm for leggings and sneakers. So I've just been kind of grabbing that with a pair of sandals and then heading out the door and it's so comfortable and I just love the way it fits and looks. Like it's just so, so good. Really, really easy to wear. You can dress it down, you can fully dress it up. I took it on holiday to Greece with us. I lived in it there too. And it's just all I want to be wearing at the moment. Like it's so, so good. So much so that I did decide to get the black one as well. Um, it comes with pockets. It does have a lining. It doesn't go all the way down though, um, but you do get a fair bit of volume, but it is um, quite, a dry fabric, that's not the right word, but um, it's not like a silky fabric at all. So it still feels very, very lightweight. You get a nice amount of movement and it's just incredibly comfortable. Like it's not too tight around the waistband at all. It just kind of sits just right. You have a fairly thick waistband. And it's just like the perfect go anywhere skirt. Like it's the kind of thing where if you were packing for a trip away and you wanted to try and keep your luggage really light, this is perfect because it can go anywhere. It's comfortable to wear all day long, but at the same time, it looks nice enough that you could wear it to the nicest dinner and it still be totally fine. So I am a huge fan of this. Like it was a good price. You can often find them on sale as well. Um, and yeah, I would just absolutely recommend it. It's just been a lifesaver in my wardrobe. Next up is the bodysuit that I've been living in as well. And this was another favorite for me when I was on holiday. But I've also been living in it since being back in the UK as well. It's so great. And this one does have a bit more of a slinky feel, but it's really cool to the touch. Like it's very, very cooling to wear. And it's just the perfect go anywhere piece. Like it looks great under blazers, biker jackets, whatever you wanna wear. Also nice enough at that, you know, you can wear it by itself and it still looks great. It is a bodysuit style, so you no know, lumps and bumps. You have a fully kind of seamless silhouette. And it's just a really nice style. And um, you have slightly thicker straps. It's a kind of gentle scoop neckline. And it's one of those items that, you know, it doesn't crease, so you don't have to worry about steaming or ironing it. If it does have any creases, like they just smooth right out because it is a bodysuit style. And it goes with literally everything. I've worn this with shorts. I've worn it with skirts of every single length and width. It's just the perfect go anywhere piece. I'm sure it'd also look good with jeans as well. Like just so useful. One of like my go-to basics at the moment. I just love it. And it's just the perfect, perfect layering piece. Next up is a new sweater that I got from Lululemon and I own this sweater in quite a few colors but it's one of my favorite styles of them. It is a funnel neck one and I don't need to wear a sweater all the time because it has been really warm um, but I got this for the slightly cooler days which happen once in a while um, but really I just got it because I know I always get a lot of use out of these because unfortunately it isn't that warm all the time in the UK um, and I just love the color. I thought it was the prettiest shade of baby blue. Shockingly I actually got this on on sale which I was super happy about because I feel like the kind of signature styles from Lululemon hardly ever go on sale and if they do there's like one size left whereas actually the sale has been really good so I know the sale has launched in the UK I'm not sure if it has in the US if it has I'll link it below um, but I found it to be very very well stocked Dan also ordered a ton of items so if you're shopping for your partner or whoever in your life definitely worthwhile checking out the menswear it's very very well stocked in sizes and colors um, but even the women's wear they had amazing stock selection so definitely worth checking out Lululemon's always on the pricey side um, but there are some really good deals and surprisingly some of their very popular styles are included in the sale such as my gorgeous new light blue sweater. So very, very happy with this and super happy to have gotten it at a discount. Next up is an oldie but a goodie and it is my Louis Vuitton belt, which is definitely not new in my wardrobe at all. I've had this for, gosh, I wanna say it's like four years. Maybe it's more than that. Like it's many, many years. It's still going strong, very nice quality indeed. Um, and if you've watched any of my fashion videos recently, you will probably have seen me style up some outfits with this belt because 
I've just kind of rediscovered my love for this belt. Not that it ever fell out of favor with me, but I definitely go through phases and favorites with my belts. Like I kind of fixate on one and that's all I want to wear and use. And then I'll like move on to another one for whatever reason. I'm definitely having a moment with this belt. And for the first time I feel like ever, I'm actually making use of the brown side. So it has a black side, which I have typically worn more frequently, but with the warm weather, I have been making use of the brown side and I absolutely love it. It's a really, really well-made belt. It looks pretty much new, even though I have had it for quite a few years and I really, really used it quite a lot. Um, the hardware is still nice and shiny and crucially, it's very easy to reverse as well. I find that some reversible belts are actually like a little bit tricky to get the buckle off and you have to really force it through the leather, whereas that is not the case with this one and it comes off so easily. I don't feel like I'm damaging the belt at all, which I love. Um, this one has seen quite a few prices increases since I bought it. I want to say I got it for about £330, something like that, and now it's like £500, which is a huge price increase. But I would say, even though it's an insane amount of money to have increased by, knowing what I know now, like if I lost this, I would repurchase it pretty much immediately because I love it so much and I just think it's such a great addition to really any outfit. I have a lot of fun styling up different clothes with it and I just think it's fantastic, especially considering that I know it's very, very good quality too. So I'm a huge fan of this. Um, if you're on the fence about a Louis Vuitton belt, obviously this is my only one, but I'm really, really happy with the one I have. And yeah, I just think it's fantastic. Definitely a splurge, but I do feel like I've gotten my cost per wear down over the years and I just think it's fantastic. Next up are a couple of jewelry favorites and I have one necklace here and one bracelet, both of which I have just been loving so much. Um, so the first one is this beautiful, beautiful um, semi horn sparkly pendant, which if you'd have described it to me, I wouldn't have thought it'd be something that I liked, um, but I love this. I wore a ton in Greece, and I think it's a really nice one to wear with either kind of a midi skirt or a long maxi dress. And it just has like the right amount of sparkle without being overly sparkly, which I feel like when it comes to more costume jewelry, like it can be difficult to pull off, whereas this just hits just the right note. It comes with a very, very nice gold chain. It hits at just the right length as well. And it's just the prettiest thing. Like it's very, very shiny, but the sparkle bit isn't like too sparkly in your face. I feel like it's just edgy enough while still being quite dainty. So very easy to wear. Um, typically whenever I have statement jewelry, which is a little bit too statement making, I almost never wear it. So I like the fact that this has a little something to it while still being super easy to wear and something which I don't have to think about matching to specific outfits. I feel like it goes with most things. And I just love it, like so super cute, definitely my favorite piece from this collection. And I just adore it, definitely an absolute favorite for me recently. And then my other favorite jewelry piece is this pearl bracelet, which I have not wanted to take off. It is the prettiest thing. And especially if you like pearls like I do, but you don't always like the really kind of traditional look of pearls, this is just perfect. They have a few different kind of pearl designs in their line. This is definitely one of my favorites. I love the fact that it's nice enough to wear by itself, but it's also dainty enough that you can layer it up with other pieces and it looks great. I do wear this with my Cartier bracelet as well. I love the double layered look. I'm not wearing my Cartier bracelet today just because, to be honest, I forgot it downstairs and I feel like I climbed the stairs like a hundred times a day already. <laughs> so if I forget something that's not super important, it just kind of lives downstairs. Um, but I love this thing. It's so great. I'm really, really easy to wear. It does come with a little gold bracelet with these little dots. Very dainty, delicate. The pearl is super pretty as well. Like as a nice, almost iridescent shimmer to it. The quality is lovely. I have showered with this. I don't think you're meant to, um, but I do and I feel like they do just fine. And I just think it's gorgeous, really elegant, really pretty and just right up my street with the beautiful pearl design. And speaking of jewelry, I had to mention my little jewelry box because it has been so useful and I just absolutely love it. Um, so I did take this on holiday with me and it was great as a little kind of general travel jewelry case. It's from Monica Minida and it just opens up like so. It has this really lovely kind of heavy duty um, like pebble zipper, like really, really nice. 
and then on the inside you have a little area here to kind of hook things on securely and then you could also pop in your earrings and rings right there and then two looser compartments and this is movable too so you can make room for a bigger piece if you wanted to. It was so great as a travel piece but I've also been using this at home. I have a terrible habit of taking off my jewelry wherever I am so it's usually all over the dining room table and everyone's always kind of collecting bits for me and so instead I just had this by my side by my laptop which is often where I work um, and I just pop my pieces in here. I also pop a few memory cards in here just like a few random things which I like to keep together which are really important and it just does so so well. It's really nice quality as well like the leather is absolutely gorgeous and I just think this has been the best thing. Um, so if you travel a lot, really, really useful, but generally if you want something to kind of collect all your jewelry bits or odds and ends, this has just been the best sort of thing. And a mainstay on our dining room table recently, which is especially nice because it does look so smart that I didn't want something ugly on there. And this just looks so elegant and great wherever it goes. Next up is another holiday favorite. And I wanted to mention the bathing suit that I got for the trip. And I did get a couple of different ones, but this one was by far my favorite. I must have tried on dozens of swimsuits for this trip. First time being in swimsuits since having a baby. I was a bit nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and so I really tried on all the swimsuits, every kind of style and variety. And I stumbled across this one and it was just love at first sight, like incredibly flattering, especially if you have a mum tum, had a C-section, anything like that. This was so, so flattering. I felt really secure in it, but it's still like very glamorous. So it didn't feel like a frumpy swimsuit at all. It does have a plunge neckline, which definitely helps. And then it has this kind of folded bit over your midsection. So it is crazy, crazy flattering. It's definitely probably a little bit more revealing than, you know, your general one piece swimsuit, but that's kind of what I wanted like I'm used to bikinis I'm not used to wearing kind of one pieces so I didn't want something super covered up but I wanted something that you know I just felt good in that was flattering that I wasn't going to fall out of but just kind of covered the right spot and still made me feel like good as a new mum and this was just so great and um, it's a really pretty kind of sparkly fabric as well good amount of stretch it did really well in water and for me this is just like 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. By far the most flattering one I tried on and yeah, I just absolutely love it. Next up are a pair of sandals and this is another one which is kind of an oldie but a goodie. These particular sandals are new to me but this style is definitely not new. I think I've owned this style for I wanna say like eight years, and um, it's definitely way more than five years because I wore this shoe at my wedding kind of during like the after party bit when I was sick of my heels. This is the sandal that I put on because I knew I could dance all night in them like really, really comfy. And by that time, I remember they were already looking a little bit old and worn. So I think I have had these like eight years um, and they're just the best and most comfortable sandal. I was so sad because I thought they discontinued them about two years ago, I'd say, um, but, they brought them back and I am so happy about it. And these are just the best things ever. I own them in, I think four different varieties, but mine are like really, really worn as in they're kind of falling apart like at the little buckle bit. They're not bad quality at all. I have literally just worn these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I think any shoe is gonna fall apart with that amount of wear, so. I was thrilled to be able to get a replacement and they did release a similar pair with a more of like a platform heel, which I also own and like, um, but they're not as comfortable as these, I don't think, whereas these are just so great. They go with literally everything. You just slip them on. I can walk all day long in these. Like when I go on holiday, I feel like everyone else is in really comfy sneakers and kind of, you know, proper walking shoes. Whereas I can wear these and like I'm good all day long. It doesn't matter how long I walk that's how comfortable they are so I am so happy because I also feel like they look the part as well like they really look nice and elegant they're neutral enough that they go with everything and they aren't too expensive either so these are the perfect sandal to me I have bought a couple of pairs because I don't want to be without them would definitely recommend if you're after a good pair of summer sandals I love these and now for another old but new favorite, um, this halter neck top. I love this style of top. I always feel like halter neck tops in general are just very, very flattering. It's always nice to show off your shoulders in summer anyway. And this is just like the perfect fit. It just drapes in a really beautiful way. I own this in solid colors in the black, the white, and the navy. It is a huge favorite of mine and I was so happy to see that they decided to release it in a print because I do love my floral prints as well. 
and it's just perfect like a really nice and like breezy one you can wear this with shorts regular denim you can tuck it into skirts if you want to like it really does look good with everything it's a really pretty floral print as well it has a white base with all these pinks and reds and oranges just like super lovely has one button at the back it is lined as well so it feels really nice on your skin and just like the perfect nice floaty drapey top which is just like one of those ones which you don't have to think about just throw on you'll feel great in it and yeah I'm just a huge huge fan of the style and last but not least for clothing I do have this dress I know it looks like a skirt but there is a kind of top part so it is a dress and this dress has been stalking me on Facebook for what feels like months it may only be weeks but it feels like months um, and I keep looking at it I've not tried anything from this brand before so I was a little bit hesitant because it was also quite expensive but it stalked me enough that I just kind of gave in I think it was like middle of the night one night and I was like I'm gonna order it and it's really, really cute. Like, so, so nice. I'm really intrigued by this brand. I think it's me and M, um, so I might try some other things from them, but the quality is really nice. Um, it's kind of like a cheesecloth fabric. Um, it is, I'd say like a medium weight. It's not super heavy, but by no means is it really lightweight. It's not lined, but it is completely opaque. It does come with pockets as well, which I always like. And then the skirt part does have an elasticated bit. And then you have these great little cutout details as well along with these little roughly bits on the sleeve. It is kind, it's not really a plunge neck nylon, it's like a v-neck, um, but you do show like a fair bit of skin with the side bits, but considering like the overall proportions of the dress, I feel like it still really works. And I just love this. Um, I think this came in a solid color, which I think was the green as well. I decided to go for this beautiful white and blue print and I just love it, like a really nice one. I feel like this is just going to be a staple of my summer wardrobe. It just feels really, really fancy, but at the same time, really easy to wear and just throw on as well. So huge fan of this, definitely intrigued by this brand. Um, but yeah, I am super, super happy about this dress and very happy that it was stalking me all that time on Facebook. And last up, I have a couple of bag favorites. And firstly, I have my Chanel O case here, which I just absolutely love and this was particularly great on holiday and I don't usually take a lot of Chanel with me when I'm traveling um, just because it's so expensive and I feel like when you're traveling things are just so much more likely to get damaged. I'd say like a good chunk of the damage I have on my bags has come from traveling with them so I do always try and be careful but I always try and pick slightly more robust styles um, that I think I'm going to be able to protect to a decent degree when I do go abroad. Um, this one I decided to take it with me um, I did kind of buy it as not a cheaper version because it definitely wasn't cheap um, I did get it pre-loved but basically a way to kind of get this look without taking my um, white flat bag which is quite a bit more expensive than this um, and this did perfectly like it's really really good as a clutch it can fit a decent amount in but it was also really useful as a general travel pouch because part of the issue is often kind of actually like storing and traveling with the bag unless you want to take it with you on the plane um, and so I actually use this to store all our documents so I put our passports in here our boarding passes really really great to store everything and keep it handy I just popped it in my Chloe Woody tote which is what I was traveling with had everything to hand it kept everything kind of nice and secure but it also kept the pouch itself nice and kind of straight I didn't have to squish it in luggage at all and then when I got there I used it as a clutch and it just worked perfectly I'm definitely going to do that for our upcoming Italy trip as well this is going to come with me then too and it's just great like really does fit a decent amount you have the pocket there at the back otherwise just a plain simple fabric lining you do have a little pocket on the back there as well and I just love it. Um, it's quite soft and malleable, I will say that. Um, I did get a little bit of food on it. I just wiped it clean and it looks good as new. And yeah, so far, so good. I feel like I resisted this style from Chanel for so many years because I didn't really understand like the purpose of it. Like I didn't know what I'd use it for. But now I just feel like it's the most useful thing ever. Uh, so I would definitely recommend. I have been loving this so much and yeah, just generally really thrilled with it. And last but not least, I have my little Burberry bag here, which has been my most frequently used bag over the past few weeks. I've just not been able to get enough of this style. I think it's adorable. I always have it downstairs now because it's my kind of grab and go bag. And 
it is kind of fancy for a grab and go bag, but I kind of like that. Like it is very functional. I just been using it as an everyday crossbody and I have mainly been wearing it as a crossbody rather than doubled up on the shoulder. Um, but it's just the right size to fit in my essentials. If I'm going anywhere with Leo, then I will grab another tote bag um, at the moment. <laughs> just got lots of cash and receipts inside um but i've been using the back pocket just as a little card holder to be honest i've been using it to hold cash my cards and for some reason i have a lot of change in here i don't even know why it is a fabric lining as well so it does keep the weight down and then apart from that i've just been using it to carry my um phone and then a lipstick and to be honest that's pretty much it like that's all i really need anything else i just stick in a tote bag and it's been great, like really, really cute. I love the look of it. I think it's like the prettiest bag. You have the nice shiny TV logo there standing for Thomas Burberry. The hardware is wonderfully shiny as well. Leo's absolutely obsessed with this as well. He tries to grab it at every opportunity, but it really is just like the shiniest gold hardware ever. And I just love this bag. The leather is really beautiful quality. It smells really good too. And yeah, there is just like nothing bad I can say about this bag. I would say maybe if you're sensitive to weight, like it is a very hefty chain, I'm not particularly sensitive to weight on my bag, so it hasn't bothered me, but if you are, then you might not like that. Um, but apart from that, in terms of adorable little mini styles, it's just all I've been wanting to wear at the moment. And I'm just beginning a video challenge where I'm trying to do 14 days and 14 outfits with 14 different bags of so trying to do different bag styles because what I do is I get fixated on style and that's all I want to wear. So I'm trying to get out of that rut but I'm already thinking that I'm going to miss this bag so much. But yeah, I've been loving this so far. All I've wanted to wear recently, just the most adorable little style. So that is it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you enjoy favorites videos, please do give us a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. I don't know how, or how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming.